So let's jump into to Facebook Insights here, okay? When you first are on your page, again, and you're gonna click Insights right up here, okay? This will take you into first your overview on your Facebook page. So it'll roll up your page likes, your post reach, and your engagement, okay? Now, page likes is fairly self-explanatory. In fact, you can kind of see real time the effect that this course is having on Heyo's fan page, right? This is, all, <laughs> this is real time data with some aggressive projections there, okay? Additionally, uh, post reach here, this is saying I've reached about 28,000 Okay, of our total 46,000 fan page likes. So that's actually pretty healthy reach. Now when I break down this reach, you're gonna see that didn't all come in one status update, which is why the evergreen content Josh and Kim talked about in the last segment is so important. And you know, uh, Wes, hopefully that answers some of your questions about uh, how frequently do you post. We'll walk through that here in a second. And lastly, uh, engagement. So you can see here we see number of likes, number of comments, shares, and post clicks. How many times is that post engaged with? All of these things, again, this section right here ties back to the W variable in EdgeRank, right? The weight. This is essentially your report card on how well uh, you're connecting with weight or what your affinity is with your followers. Okay. So I'm going to let you guys guide me. Which one of these, uh, on a, which one of these is most curious to you? Page likes, post reach, or engagement? Well, engagement. Okay, why yeah. engagement? Why are you most curious about that? Because that's what tells me what's working and, and what's, what's not. not. Right? Yeah. Okay, let's dive, let's dive into <laughs> engagement here. Okay, so again, you're seeing. <laughs> You're seeing some good effects here. For, this is, I guess, the power of Creative Live, okay? Now, what you're gonna see here um, is a few things. Let me walk us through kind of the ecosystem of what we're looking at and then how you can use it yourself. First, up here across the top, these are your time controls. Okay, so you can go in here and edit, again, what time frame you're looking at. So we've spoken with uh, Chris in the live audience where he's, again, launching his own skateboarding company. Potentially, he has an event coming up, and he wants to only look at the people that engaged around that event. First, select the right time frame. A lot of people, if you have a holiday coming up or maybe a new season and you're running a promotion around a new season, isolate for that group to see how, that, see how your promotion uh, is doing. So I'll get a nice big sample size here for us to work with. And I'm going to scroll down. Now, what you see here is the delta, okay, or the difference between how many people we're reaching through our ad spend. And down here, the, the lighter peach is the reach we're getting organically or with no ad spend. So let's go in here. And I'm going to click um, here in this update. This is what's great. When you see a spike in these updates, you can click the spike and it'll basically spit out exactly what worked. You see type, it says link share. Mm -hmm. Okay, targeting, which means I'm targeting global. In other words, there's no countries I'm targeting specifically. And I see 1.3, 1,300 people reached. We'll go in here, okay, you'll see a few things. When I click on this update, I'll get even, okay. Well, there you go. This answers, <laughs> that answers the question. This tells me a lot about my fans, right? They love women and we in have bikinis. A nice, and we have a nice heat map. Well, I'm just going to, for the sake of making this a healthy creative live course, this will just cover this. You'll see faces typically do really well. Okay, so all jokes aside, all of you watching right now that are photographers, you're at actually a natural advantage on Facebook. Because what do you do, especially if you're, if you're taking photos of people, they naturally get more engagement. So you'll see here, again, that worked well for us. I'm going to go back into the desktop here, and you'll see 3,800 people were reached. Now, we've got, again, 46, about 40,000 fans. So you see here, that's about 8% engagement, or higher than what you typically see in industry right now. Does and, that mean that they saw it or that they actually clicked on it? Yeah, so the, the question was, when it says reach is 3,806 people, the question was, how many people, or does that mean they actually saw it, or do they actually click and engage in it? Because Is that you correct? Said, yeah, you said there news that we didn't reach every, a lot of people when we post. Yep, so, so uh, Angeline, what that is is impressions, or how many eyeballs saw it. Okay. Okay, so that might be they saw it as they were scrolling through their Facebook news feed. That counts as one, okay. plus one, even if they didn't click it. Oh, okay. Okay, Good. so it's vi think, think visibility. 
Okay, let's go back into some deta details here. Okay, you'll see clicks. Now, this is the actual clicks. Okay, how many people clicked this and went back into this blog article? So we got 367 free clicks here. Now again, this is what now tells you where you're getting your traffic from. Your other opportunity cost is you're gonna go spend Facebook ad dollars or Google ad dollars trying to pay for clicks. Well, these are highly relevant clicks that drove back to our blog where they can further engage with us. Okay, so we'll dive back out of this example. And you can scroll down here, you'll see it's actually, everything is all sorted based on total reach for that day. And you'll see a post right here. This is actually one, and when you look at the timestamp, you'll notice this one actually got, which, which let's say like if you're watching right now, this was actually posted yesterday, and this one was posted today. The one from yesterday actually got more reach because of how it optimized for edge rank than the post I updated just today. That's a great example of a post getting more engagement to overcome time decay.